very, very clever. Their attack is being portrayed by certain people or groups as they're doing this for Gaza. It's basically a great PR opportunity to win over many naive, emotionally volatile Muslims who will see Iran as defending Gaza while at least Iran is attacking Israel. Meanwhile, Sunni state, blah, blah. I mean, it's true. Sunni state is doing nothing. Jordan is doing absolutely nothing. Jordan is siding with the people killing the Muslims. Thank you. But in reality, none of this has anything to do with helping Gaza. And remember, you interestingly, he says blah, 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 but he never comes back and addresses that. All he talks about is how Iran is. This is basically a ploy for Iran to spread Shiism in the Muslim world, throughout the Muslim world. Basically. Um, but he doesn't say anything about actually like the states that are in power that are not Shia and what they've done or what they're or what they're like working against even. You know? So in the the top comment here says, I'm calling it now. They're going back out, out of the conflict soon. It's all propaganda to spread Shiism even more. This has almost a thousand likes. Xavier replies, many Muslims are falling for it, sadly. <laughs> it's big for propaganda. Um, so here's the thing, right? This is this is interesting. And I, and I thought about, I was, I was mulling over this point um, a bit. Did I say that right? Mulling? Mulling. Mulling. I was mulling over this point, right? Um, we, we can't, there's no way of knowing exactly what someone's intention is for doing something. Mm -hmm. You know, when we talk about a country or a state, we talk about like, like as a person, really it's thousands of people who have different says, and then they make up an action. Um, there could be truth to this. I think there is truth to this. I mean, he's, he's right. Right. Um, they didn't strike until now. Right, and Iran's always been talking about striking, but they haven't striked. When do they strike? Yeah, they, they stroke whenever their embassy was hit. Um, now, you can make the argument like, okay, they just don't care at all, and that's all a lie. But also, I think, I think the truth of the matter is, whether Iran wants to strike or not, they can't without getting re retaliation from the U.S., except in this circumstance. Except in because, circumstances like these. Because yeah. this not is... Just, not this one specifically. Like, circumstances like these. Yeah. Because kind of they're in stakes. international law. Kind of low stakes. This was legal. Also. In international law. Yeah. Because was there were no civilians targeted. There were yeah. no hospitals targeted. There and there's a direct retaliation to what they did to your country. Like versus you watching someone do to another country. They literally did this to your country. But it's, right? not, it's not only that. I, I think there's like multiple reasons why the U.S. is like hands off with this. Mm. One, because... Biden and Biden himself doesn't really care for the guy. Like you hear him talking about, <laughs> like Netanyahu. That is, they're not locked in. They, they, they don't really have that great of a relationship. Um, you've heard the State Department talk about like, hey, we're trying to push Israel this direction, we're trying to push Israel this direction. They've drawn hard lines about where Israel can continue um, their uh, settlements and where they need to stop. Um, and on top of all of that. The public opinion of like Israel has gone down the drain. Yeah, like it's completely. like in the toilet. Um, so like, this was like the perfect amount of, of, like it was just like a perfect storm. It was like mm. perfect set of circumstances for it was like low stakes enough that uh, the U.S. didn't feel like they needed to actually come to Israel's aid um, and are actually telling them like, hey, back down. And then on top, and that's also because of all like just the kind of climate that we're in right now, right? Um, so yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, what do you think? Do you think Iran did it for just selfish reasons? I think it's hard. You you can never know these things, right? Exactly. But I think it's hard to feel like that at least wasn't part of it, mm. given the proximity that the two events occurred. Of course, yeah. Um, and yeah, that that's what I'll say. Um, I, I think you'd have to be like, you'd have to, you'd have to be really good to convince me that nothing in their self-interest played a part in this decision, especially after what had occurred before in Syria. And I'm I'm confused. Which is which is which is not necessarily even a bad thing. I was about to say, which is not necessarily even a bad thing. Do y'all not see like? They hate, some people hate Shias more than they even love Palestine. Like, this is an example of that. You clearly hate Shiaism so much that 
even when a Shia, maybe for herself, let's assume, let's 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 assume, it was for a selfish reason. Okay, was it not good for your people? Why are you upset? You know, I think some people are just never going to be happy. And that's that's true too. That's sh- like, that's the reason this tweet exists. Honestly, yeah, it's like you just really don't like Shias, and like, and that that's the sentiment from this stuff. And my my question to you is this, right? This sectarianism that we have, this is just my opinion, right? Not Hussein's. I'm not trying to get both of us canceled. <laughs> I really think this sectarianism we have between Sunni and Shias is really a cancer to the Ummah because um, it's destroying the Ummah. And I think, you know, Sunnis and Shias, we both have very strong beliefs. I think we have both strong beliefs for very valid reasons. Uh, but people need to zoom out. Like the reason why Shia has a belief and a Sunni has a belief is for the same reason. Is because we have hadith that say things. And it's important to look at people, like not to demonize them and think, well, that person is like just a Wahhabi or that person is just a shirk, shirk, uh, Shia, right? Like, listen, we have scholars who are both smarter than, than ourselves who we follow and they have these opinions, educated opinions. And at the end of the day, Allah is going to tell us what the truth is in the day of judgment. In the meantime, we're getting slaughtered by people who just aren't Muslims. Yeah, I guess I, I guess on this point, I am a little bit confused at like the vitriol um, and the hate that some of these people have for, for Shias. Um, because like one, we're like, sorry. One, we're like a fraction of the Muslim population. We're like a, pre- we're like a minority. We're a minority within the Muslim population, mm-hmm. like a big minority. That's one. And then two, even if you do think we're not Muslim, there are other sects, like I'm just thinking from it myself, there mm. are other sects that call themselves and consider themselves Muslim that according to Shia standards aren't Muslim. And I don't think about them. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't <laughs> I really don't think about them. 